Hello, my name is Alan Avis. I'm with a company called AutoArc Systems, and today I'm here to go and talk about beveling tool bits and facing bits that are used in our industry. I want to try to give you a general idea of the different types of material, how they're made, the type of materials, and the coatings that are offered. And then I will also go into the different types of tool bits as far as they fitting into our ID beveling machines, split frames, and facing tools and how you might be able to use them. To start off with, let's talk about the materials. There's three types of materials that are used out here in this industry that uh, uh, you'll find different ones for different manufacturers. The most common one is an M2 tool steel, which is the most common use for all different types of cutting bits, both uh, ones for our beveling tools, drills, end mills, a lot of different materials. The second one out there is what we call an M42 tool steel. And this is the type of material that we use on our products today. This is a material that has what they call 8% cobalt. And what this does is it makes it a tougher tool bit. It, it makes it able to go and resist heat more. It's able to take more abuse when uh, uh, you're hitting hard spots in materials and it's just an overall around probably the best type of material that you could use for the products we have. The third one in the tool steel area is what they call a T15. Uh, T15 is a more tough material, stronger, but it also is a little bit more brittle, so it has a tendency more to chip when you're hitting certain places and hard spots or different places. So it, it, it's a good material but we don't find it to be the best one overall. Another type of material that's used is carbide. And you'll find carbide used more often with your uh, high nickel type of materials like Inconel, titanium, and these type, uh, super duplex materials. So um, you can learn more on it by going in and just typing in M2, M42, or T15 tool steel, and you can read more about it. Now, the second part I'd like to talk about is coatings. Coatings now, they are a big part of uh, cutting tools in general. And there's many different types of cutting or coatings out there, depending on what you're looking for. There's two types that we offer here at AutoArt. The first one is a gold color type of material. This one is what they call tin coated. It's the very first coating that was offered about 30 years ago. And it is, works well with your types of stainless steel. It helps with the lubricity of the chip slipping away from the material, or away from the, the tool bit, which will help keep the tool bit cooler. It also has a hardness on it of about 80 Rockwell, which again will make it uh, stronger but it's such a thin coating that it won't make it brittle. The second offering we have is what we call our laser coating. It's the newest type of coating that's out on the market today. It really looks like there's not much of a coating on it at all, but it has a Rockwell hardness of about 94, and it's designed to work well when you're cutting materials without lubricant. So when you start talking about doing your tubing where you can't use any type of coolant, this tool bit is basically, this coating is the best one that you can get on the market today. The tool bits that we offer fit on the auto arc beveling equipment and facing tools, plus they fit on a lot of our competitors. And what I'm demonstrating today really is more in the angles and the type of tool bits that are offered and most of our competitors also have the same type. Uh, the first thing you'll get into is what we call our 37 and a half degrees. You can see there's many different types and sizes of tool bits that would all depend on the type of tool bit that you're using. A standard would be a 37 and a half degree, a 30 degree, a 45 degree, we, and we can make any size that you're looking for. So whatever type of tool bit size angle you're looking for, we can manufacture. But we keep in stock, like I said, the 30, 37 and a half, and 45. 
So depending on the type of tool bit you have will depend on what size the tool bit is. But they all generally do the same thing. They go in and they bevel a, uh, a piece of pipe or tubing. The next one we have is what we call our J-bevel. A J-bevel dual bit is designed to have a radius at the end and to go in and put a J type of bevel into a piece of pipe. So if you have this is our piece of pipe right here, this tool bit is designed to go in and it puts a radius inside this corner here and makes it so it's a less angle. Typically this type of angle will be anywhere from a 12 degrees all the way up to a 25. Your standards mostly are 20 and 25 degrees with the radius side. And the J bevels is most important when you're doing robotic welding in stainless steel. You really need to go and have a J bevel when you're doing that type of material. So again, we have many different types of sizes of J bevels, all depending on what type of machine. So we can make custom ones up depending on what you're looking for and different radiuses and angles depending on what fits your need and what type of machine you have. The next one we offer is what we call facing or squaring bits. Okay? They are just a straight across uh, facing tool. The idea is you're going in and just putting a face, a square on the end of your tubing, whatever size it may be called out on this. Okay, and again, depending on the type of machines, there's many different types of facing bits that you can get. So we offer many different types and sizes in this range also. The next type of tool bit is what we call a chamfer or a counter bore. These tool bits, again, come in many different sizes and angles. Your standard for your chamfer bit is just a four degree, it's small, just to go into the inside of the piping to clean it out. Then you have your different chamfers, uh, a um, counter bore that will be anywhere from a 10 to a 14 degree. You have ones that are a little smaller to get into areas where you don't have much room between the mandrel and the pipe. And as you have more room, you have thicker and bigger uh, spacing there to make it a stronger bit. Again, when you get into the larger sizes, you can see that there's different sizes that you can get. And they come into the same thing in 10 and 14 degree chamfers. The last part we would like to talk about is tool bits that are used for split frames. Okay, now we'd like to do the last part of the tool bits, which is our split frame tool bits. There's three types of split frame tool bits that you can offer. And I'm not talking about the angles. The angles you can put on whatever you're looking for. The first type that you have is what you call a double bevel. When you're cutting the pipe, it will also bevel both sides of the pieces that you're cutting off. So you can get a, a bevel on both pieces as you're cutting at the same time. And then you have what you call your right hand and left hand bits. And what we're talking about this with the left hand and right hand is that, uh, um, excuse me, gotta pop them back. You can have it so it bevels on the right side, the piece that you're cutting off, or you can bevel on the side that the machine is holding the pipe. So you have the choice of which way you want to bevel. Again, you can bevel on the both sides, on the left side, or the right side. So when ordering the tool bits, you need to specify what type you have. Now again, these tool bits can come with a double bevel or a 30 degree, 37 and a half degree. They can come with a J bevel, but the J bevel is very specific and you need to ask questions about that or you can do a compound bevel bit. And a compound bevel bit is going and putting on two angles, typically a 37 and a half and a 10 degree. 
So, but that can be what's called off on your specs. But these are the different types of tool bits. You have your bevel bit, your cutoff bit, so they're cutting and beveling at the same time. The last part we'll talk about, is just it, is the technology of what you're doing when you're beveling. In the case of this one here, we have a bevel, which was a 37 and a half degree. We have a small land that's put on it. And we went in and just chamfered the inside to make sure all the burrs were taken out. And this is a standard type of uh, bevel. The next one, which I showed you a little earlier, is you have a J bevel, which is a 20 degree bevel. You have a small step. You have your land, your square piece. And if you look inside, you can see we counterboard the inside to clean it up. So the whole distance from the top to the end of the weld makes the wall thickness all the same. And your ID beveling machines can do all three of these at the same time. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. We hope that it was useful to you and that you have a better understanding. If we can help you anyway, please give us a call and we'd be happy to send you more literature out and information about tool bits. Thank you and have a good day.